Hello booktube, Sarah here and welcome back to my channel and welcome to day five, 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 five of Vlogmas. <laughs> this is what happens when you book film. <laughs> the mind starts going a little crazy. Anyway, today guys, I am coming to you with a book tag. And this is kind of an original tag, sort of, kind of. I don't want to say it's an original tag because I got the idea from somebody else. But this is the OMG This Song book tag. But this is the Christmas edition. So I've been seeing this tag going around quite a bit on um, BookTube, and I've been really, really enjoying it. And I got thinking a few weeks back, I'm like, wouldn't it be fun to do this for Vlogmas with just Christmas songs and Christmas books? So that's what I'm here to do. So I took the categories that the original, um, the originator of the original tag is Kate's book date, and I will leave a link to her original video in the description box below. I will also leave all of my questions or all of my stuff in the description box below. I would love for you guys to do this too. Um, I think it would be a lot of fun. So like I said, I took some of the songs. I think she had originally nine. I went down to five. So there's only five questions in this whole tag. It's not a very long tag. And I added a couple. I took a bunch of hers out and I added a couple of my own. So I'm kind of basing the same idea, but you know, I'm putting my own spin on it, if you will. So I will be playing some music in this too. Um, so that's kind of fun. So let's jump in and get started with question number one is my jam um, a song. Sorry, I'm just reading from my tablet here a song you must listen to every time it comes on no matter how old or how many times you've listened to it slash a book you'll never get sick of. So the song that I picked is a favorite holiday song of mine. This one goes all the way back to when I was a kid. Um, I used to do ballet tap and jazz when I was little and I remember distinctly in jazz class, we had to dance to this song for the Christmas recital. And to this day, when it comes on the radio, if I'm not in my car, um, I will actually, I can still remember some of the steps because I've done it for so many years now, like all the time. And that song is, of course, Rock Around the Christmas Tree by Brenda Lee. I'm doing the dance in my head right now. <laughs> you guys just don't know. <laughs> so yes, I love that song. It just it was it was on where was I? I was in the mall last night and it came on and I'm walking and I'm like as I'm walking through the mall and I don't care. So the book that I will never get sick of is A Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. Um I watch the movie every year. Um the Christmas or the the Christmas Carol version, the Muppets Christmas version, of course. And I read the book for the very first time about two years ago. Last year, I read um, a book called The Man Who Invented Christmas, which was about Dickens writing A Christmas Carol. And this year on my TBR, I have Mr. Dickens and His Carol, which is a kind of a fictionalization of Charles Dickens writing A Christmas Carol. So I am obsessed with this story and I love it. And yeah, so that's my answer for question number one. Question number two is replay, a recent song that you have on repeat right now and a recent favorite book. So I'm kind of taking liberty with recent favorite book because I've just started reading my Christmas books for this year, but the song, but so I picked a book that I read last year, but it's still a more recent Christmas favorite. The song that I chose comes off of Brent Eldridge's um, Christmas album called Glow, which came out in 2016. And I love this song. It's Baby It's Cold Outside and it features of course, Megan Trainor. So here you go. It's so jazzy, I love it. It's like, it's almost that Michael Buble feel to it. Do you know what I mean? This whole album is great, by the way. Highly recommend it. I am such a fan of country music, but I would love that even though. So the book that I picked is one that, again, that I said that I read last year, and it's called Tinsel. A Search for America's Christmas Present by Hank, uh, Hank Suver, Stuver. Excuse me. Um, this is a nonfiction novel, and I listened to it on audio last year, and it is so fabulous. He follows three families through the Christmas season. One woman does um, house decorating. One's a guy who does like all the Christmas lights. It is a fabulous, fabulous book. A great nonfiction Christmas book, and I absolutely loved it and could not recommend it enough. I do want to reread it, maybe next year. Um, the next one, this is a category that I added myself, and I'm calling it inspirational. 
and it's an inspiring song and then a book that inspired you or gave you the warm fuzzies so kind of without getting too religious about it the whole reason for the season kind of idea and the song that I picked for this one um, my absolute favorite um, country group is Sugarland and I'm so thrilled I heard that they're coming out with a new album in 2018 but a number of years ago they put out a Christmas album and this song was on it and I don't I don't think it was an original song by them I don't know if it's been done before but um, it's just such a beautiful song and here it's called Little Wood Guitar her voice is amazing And it's essentially a great story about this little girl who gets this guitar for Christmas and how as she grows up she becomes like you know a singer and you know and then eventually when she has her own children it is a great great song her voice is top-notch I adore her the song or the book that I picked for this one is another one that I read last year and it was called the Christmas joy ride and it's by Melody Carson and it was a fabulous I believe it's considered to be a Christian fiction novel and it's about a woman who's kind of having a hard time with Christmas and her neighbor um, decided that she was going to go and deliver and kind of do these Christmas wishes for people across the country and take this RV all decked out for Christmas. And the neighbor couldn't go because she was ill. So this younger girl, decide, not younger, like young, but like in her 20s, decides to do the drive for her. And it's kind of her learning about the Christmas spirit and all those things as she goes. It's a wonderful book and I highly recommend it for this time of year. Category number four, um, this is another one that I added in personally, and it's nostalgia. It's like a throwback you look back on fondly. Um, oh no, I'm sorry, this is not the one that I added. This is one that was already here. I do apologize. Nostalgia, throwback that you look back on fondly, a book that you read forever ago that you will look back on fondly or remind you of a happy childhood time. So the song doesn't go back to my childhood. It goes back to when I was in my teen years, but... It's a favorite of mine. And again, this is another one that every time it comes on the radio at Christmas time, I crank it up. It's on my playlist here on Spotify. Um, and that song is, of course, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, by NSYNC. Because <laughs> why not? <laughs> I actually got to see them in concert years ago. It's so pop. <laughs> I just, that whole album, again, it's on my playlist on Spotify, on my Christmas playlist on Spotify. I just love it. And the book that goes back to my childhood that is a Christmas book. There were two. It was a toss-up. But the one that I remember the most fondly is, of course, The Night Before Christmas by Clement Clark Moore. Uh, we had a, an edition of this that was a pop-up edition from, I think, Hallmark back from the early 80s. And it's like, you know throw open the shutters and you like pulled the side and like it did this in the book and he popped his head out and Santa would go up and down the tree or the chimney excuse me it was amazing and it's still one of my favorite favorite poems or books or whatever you want to call it and the last one this is the other one that I added in and it's romance because romance I'm all about the romance and it is a Christmas love or romance song and a favorite romance book well this one goes without saying I think if anybody thinks Christmassy romance song. This is the one that is played. I think it is one of the most popular Christmas songs of all time. I'm sure we're all familiar with it. A little Mariah Carey. <laughs> this, I remember being the first Christmas album I ever bought. And again, I have it on Spotify. Love it. Her voice is just unbelievable. I promise I won't sing. It's just so iconic. <laughs> so the book that I picked for this one is Miracle on Fifth Avenue by Sarah Morgan. I am still about halfway through it right now, so I'm kind of cheating. 
but I love this book. I love this Christmas story. It's a great Scrooge type story where he doesn't like Christmas and she does and she's trying to make him like Christmas kind of idea. Love it, love it, love it. I think it's great. So anyway, guys, that is it for this tag. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed listening to a little bit of the music. There's a kind of a mixed bag there of different things. Um, and yeah, again, I would love if you guys did this one too. Please post in the description box or in the comments below if you do this tag. So then I can go ahead and, and see it as well. Um, and yeah, anyway, guys, that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you tomorrow. Take care and happy reading, everybody. Bye.